okay so the next is focus and emphasis uh, so visually emphasize components such as most prominent element that is most uh, famous element okay here uh, in the first slide what we have to do uh, what we are doing uh, we have to select the element uh, or we have to select the content which is most uh, prominent which is most uh, famous element okay then we have to select most important element and then the central idea element the focal point element the changing element and the most critical element so all these kind of element on on these element we have to focus and we have to emphasize okay in the next one we have to in the next one uh, we have to provide different techniques from which we can uh, put a focus on all those points what we have learned earlier mm, that is higher brightness reverse polarity distinctive typeface that is uh, you can do it in the bold italics underlining uh, these are the typefaces then uh, blinking uh, some text can be, be uh, can be shown in the blinking format so that uh, the user will attract uh, using those uh, text then line ruling and surrounding boxes or frames you can uh, underline the things you can uh, you can use the boxes or frames some kind of frames so that uh, user will uh, understand that these uh, content or these informations are important information or these are the famous information uh, we can make use of the color different colors uh, we can use bright colors so that uh, uh, we have seen the first one that is higher brightness so we can uh, use the higher brightness also we can use different uh, uh, contrast color also so contrast color using contrast color the uh, student uh, the person the, or the the user will understand that uh, this is the famous or this is the important or this is the prominent element of the screen or design then we can use larger text okay so it will look clearly then we can then we can use some kind of animation then we can position the element at a particular point so that it looks like on the leading position then unusual shapes can be used unusual shapes can be used to attract the users uh, attention then isolation okay so all these are different techniques uh, from which we can focus on the famous or important or prominent in information or section okay uh, at last uh, we have to de-emphasize less important elements okay so the elements which are less important which are having which are not having uh, more uh, work or more task so we have to de-emphasize these kind of element to ensure that uh, emphasize screen element stand out we, we have to avoid emphasizing too many screen element okay so on in one screen if we are focusing on uh, one element or two element then it is enough okay so if we will try to focus on more than one or two element then it will be jumbled or it will be like a jungle okay so we will not or the user will not be able to understand that on which element or which section is being focused and uh, we have to avoid uh, using too many emphasis technique okay so one or two techniques is enough to focus on the prominent element uh, and then we have to minimize the screen clutter that is uh, it is also called as visual clutter it is also called as visual clutters so visual clutters are the visual noise okay so unnecessary graphic is also called as visual clutter so we have to minimize this also then uh, at last in web page designing we have to call attention to a new or change content because we know that uh, in the web page the content is getting changed after each and every uh, moment so we have to call attention for the new or the change content and uh, we have to ensure that the page text is not overwhelmed by the page background it means that uh, the page background should not be put in such a way that the the text what we have uh, written or the what we have displayed uh, on that particular background will not be able to see okay so the background should be clearly uh, defined and the text that is the foreground color should be clearly defined okay thank you